Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL union operator. Now what union operator does is it use it is used to combine the result set of two or more select statements. So if you have two statements or two select statements and you want to combine the results of all the select statements, then you can use the union operator. Now what union operator will do is it will basically get you the combined results of those select statements. So say for example, I have this table a and b very simple tables here and in the table a there are some values right so i have just one column in this table and then another table has only one column and these are all integer values in these columns so if i union the select statements for both these tables so you, i can use the union operator and it will basically get me the combined result set of both the tables. Now, one thing you have to remember in the union operator is that the number of columns in both the tables should be same. So if I am combining table A and B, the column you can see is only one column here and both the tables have just one column. Apart from that, the data type of the column should also match. So the columns must also have similar data types and in similar order, okay? So say for example, this has one column, B has one column and the data type is integer in both, then the union operator will work. If I want to do a union operator on the tables wherein the columns don't match, then the union operator will fail same thing is true if the columns are same but the data types are different say for example you want to do a union of a table which contains the name first name and last name with the table which contains the order so the order id and amount will be a different data type so even though both the tables have number of columns as same first name and last name is more of a varchar but the order amount and order id will be integer and or uh, the 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 float values right so in those cases since the data type is different the union can't be done so make sure when you are doing a union operator the data type the number of columns in the tables that you are doing the union needs to be same and union will combine the result set of two or more tables right so in this case table a and table b just one column both have a same data type right so the column number of columns in both the tables match and the data type as you can see is let's consider both of them are integer so if i'll do a union operator of the select statement from a say for example i do select star from a and select star from b i can use union operator to combine the results from both so if i'll say select star from a the result will be two four and five and then if i'll say select star from b the result will be five three six and seven now when i'll do union operator anything unique in both these tables will be returned basically all of the values um, will be returned but any duplicate values sorry not the unique any duplicate values will be um, returned only once say for example in this case i have two four five and then five is here as well so i'll be returning or the query will return five only once similarly i'll be having two three four five six and seven so five will be because five is matching in both the tables so union will return only once when we do the union operator the value 5 which is whichever value is sort of same in both the tables that will be returned only once if we want to return all the occurrences then i have i'll let you know uh, once we go to the workbench so let's go to the workbench and quickly what i'll do is i'll just create orders 1 and orders 2 dummy tables here which only has one column and same data type right so because for you doing the union operator it needs to match so let me quickly create these tables so i have this create table statement and i'll insert these values here right so if i'll say insert into values and then two four six seven and then i have five six eight and four okay so if i now run this select queries you will see orders one has two four six seven okay and then orders two has five six eight and four now if i union both these select statement what i need to do is i need to simply say select okay let me quickly copy that or let's type it okay so i'll say select star from orders one right and we know that union is used to combine or combine the result set from two select queries so i'll write another select query so select star from orders two okay 
Now, in order to combine the results from these two select queries, I'll use the union operator in between. Okay, so union operator in between and the result set from the first select statement and the result set from the second select statement will be combined. Now, let's run this and see what will be the outcome. So outcome will be exactly same that we have discussed. So you'll see that two, four, six, seven, five, and eight, all the unique values are returned. So any value that was duplicated in both the tables has been returned only once. Okay. So it's basically, you need to make sure that the duplicate values won't be returned multiple times with the union operator if they are available in both the tables. So if I see these tables again, you will see five, six, eight, and four, right? And then two, four, six, and seven. So four and six are there in orders table one, and then four and six is also in the two. So when we do did the union operator, four and six will be returned only once. Okay, you will see that two, four, six, seven, five, and eight has been returned, and four and six haven't been returned twice. If we want to return all the occurrences in both the tables, we want to union all, then we simply have to say union space all. So instead of union operator, we just use union all operator, and that will return all the occurrences of those values that are there in multiple table so two four six seven five and then six eight four right so all the values have been basically returned from both the tables right so if you'll see select statements the first table has four occurrences and uh, first table has four occurrences and second table has four occurrences if we do union all it will return me eight occurrences okay so you'll see that it has returned eight rows eight occurrences from both the tables because we have done union all but if we do union instead of union all all the values that are duplicate will be removed okay so basically any value so you in this case only the unique values in both the tables are being returned right so four and six was present in both the tables so it has been returned only once okay so that's basically what the union operator is all about and if you want to return all the occurrences union all is the keyword the important thing to remember here is the number of columns in both the tables should match the data type in those tables should match as well okay if they do not match union operator won't work in the tables if there are values that are present in both tables then union operator will return the occurrences only once if you want all the occurrences is use union all okay so that's all for this tutorial on union operator in sql i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching